Oh my god! Oh, I'm actually really excited about this. <gasps> You know that when the purple holographic glitter stickers come out, along with the purple boba that actually doesn't have boba in it, that it is time to react to a Euphoria skincare routine. Hi, I'm Maude Apatow, and this is my everyday skincare routine and red lip makeup look. First, I'll take this headband so I don't get my hair wet. I also have this cat makeup bag. Oh my god. I am so happy. <laughs> Not only is she tying her hair back, she's using cat items. If you didn't know, yes, I am your favorite resident medical esthetician, acne big sister, acne sufferer, but I am also a crazy cat lady. At my highest, I had six and counting. Cats are like potato chips. You can't have just one, okay? Okay. But this makes me so happy. And it looks like one of those old vintage little cosmetic cases that like your grandma would carry or that you would find at like a nice upscale thrift store. Does anyone know where I can find this? The sad thing is that Maude Apatow is a gorgeous, apparently talented, brilliant woman. And I think this is my first time ever looking at her because I've never actually watched Euphoria. I was told there was drugs and sexy times in it. And uh, that would make me very uncomfortable to watch. Even if I were watching it in solitude on my own, I would be like talking to my shadow and being like, so how's the weather at your uh, residence? <laughs> Oh no, I did it again. I was told that I might not like it and might not pick up on all of the uh, jokes. So I haven't watched it yet, but I am ready to watch what she puts on her face because trying to be aware of and separate my affinity bias, but I am already really in love with what is happening here. Then I'll use toner. When I started working and wearing more makeup, my skin got a lot worse. So I needed to come up with a routine and this one I've used like all through shooting Euphoria and it's worked. Except for this last week when I broke out. The products that she's using are interesting. She's using a cleanser and the toner from the same brand, but I just want to say I'm breaking out too. We are sisters. I have this like line of pimples that's going up my jaw and like on my chin and I usually don't break out on my chin. I'm like, why are you here? And these, yes, I've been picking at these. Now I believe that both the cleanser and the toner are from Obaji, but unfortunately Vogue like cut it out so we can't actually see and then they didn't freaking link it. Conspiracy theory time. Back when I reacted to the beautiful, talented Kristen Dominique skincare routine, I was freaking out over, I can't remember if it was a Murad product or a sunscreen that she didn't use, but she told me that Vogue had trimmed out parts of her routine and didn't tell her about it. And I was like, oh no. And I'm wondering how many other people they've done that to. And it looks like if Vogue like can't make money off of the product, they won't promote it. I don't understand that, but you know, this is me, acne big sister who's gone through it versus a multi-million if not billion dollar corporation. So we, we operate differently, okay? Okay. If anybody knows the cleanser that she uses, please do tell. At least right here, they did launch the Obagi Medical New Derm Toner. This one is $43. For a toner, the pricing here is pretty steep. I don't think you need to spend that much on a toner. The ingredients are quite interesting and we don't see these in a ton of different toners. Starting off very basic with water, aloe, and witch hazel. These are very, very normal. But then we do have some interesting ingredients such as potassium alum, sodium PCA, panthenol, DMDM hydantoin, polysorbate 80 is normal, allantoin, really good, sage we don't always see, but it's good. And a lot of these are excellent at wicking away oil from the skin and kind of regulating that sebum control. Now we do have fragrance in here. So just be aware of that if you are sensitive. If I do remember, oh yeah, blue number one, that's in the ingredients. I do remember I've used this before and it used to be kind of like a purplish kind of a color. They also had the salicylic acid cleanser that I used to use it with. I bet you I could go find old bottles shoved on a shelf somewhere if we want to have like Cassandra Bankson's bathroom skincare treasure hunt. <laughs> the potassium alum in here is really cool. Sometimes this ingredient is actually used in deodorant but what it can actually do is kind of tighten up the surface of the skin. And it's something that can basically make pores look smaller and kind of, you know, cause this shrinking feel. And then in addition to the other ingredients in here can really help to wick away oil. The DMDM Hydantoin in here could be concerning to some people. There was a lawsuit going around about DMDM Hydantoin causing hair loss when it was in shampoos and conditioners. I don't know if that was actually substantial or if that was actually founded. There are some doctors and dermatologists who spoke about it on TikTok, but DMDM Hydantoin is basically something that helps to preserve products, but because it's antimicrobial and antibacterial, it can also clean the outer surface of the skin. For the price, I don't think that this is worth it. I would not pay Obaji $45 for this, but it is a good product and it is something that would work for acne prone, oily skin, which it appears is what she has. And um, I love to see a celebrity who's actually using Obaji. Like this is something that doctors and derms recommend. It's really wonderful to see that because normally a lot of celebrity routines are exorbitantly overpriced with like La Mer or Chanel or brands like that and don't actually 
have skincare science or backing behind them. It's just all branding. So I'm um, very, very happy to see that. My skin got a lot worse. So I needed to come up with a routine. And this one I've used like all through shooting Euphoria and it's worked. Except for this last week when I broke out. I definitely learned not to pick my skin because it spreads. Like I never believed that when people told me that. And then I learned that if I pop zits, they, they travel and that's probably what happened here. I'll go in with some moisturizer. My skin's pretty dry, so I try and use a lot of moisturizer. Whoa, so first off, hello fellow sister who also has a picking problem. I get you, I get you. We've done a video with Dr. Ahmed who is a psychodermatologist, a basically psychologist and therapist who works with skin picking disorders and dermatology. And there are some things you can do to get over the skin picking because I know whew, as I was picking over here, it's tempting. Oh, it's tempting. She's also saying that she has dry skin and dry skin and acne can be so difficult to combat together. We've also done a video for people who have dry skin and acne because most acne products do dry out the skin to get rid of the pimples. So the products that she's using, for instance, the toner, I actually wouldn't recommend that for her skin type. I think that there are other toners that would be much better for dry skin and acne. But she is using an exfoliating and hydrating lotion, again, from Obaji. Let's look at the ingredients here because again, I kind of love to see it. It is expensive. It looks like this is $75. I've personally never used this product. But when we look at the ingredients, these are really good. We have caprylic triglyceride, which comes from coconuts. It's in most, if not all moisturizers. Same with things like glycerin and shea butter, very hydrating, but very normal in moisturizers. But we do have gluconolactone, lactobionic acid, and green tea. And all of these are fantastic for skin. Both gluconolactone and lactobionic acid are PHAs, polyhydroxy acids. Poly means many, and when we look at these molecules, they are big. They are so much bigger than other acids like AHAs and BHAs that they sit on top of the skin. So they're really, really, really gentle. They can actually help to hydrate the skin, and they're great for people who have dry skin or who are just sensitive and have a lot of irritation, especially because this is something that's being left on the skin. This looks excellent. And then we do have green tea and allantoin, antioxidants, very, very soothing to the skin. For me to be able to use this, I would personally like something like salicylic acid to be in here. But for her dry and acne prone skin, this seems like one of the most perfect things that she could possibly use. I'm really happy that she found this. And for $75, I could recommend some other PHA things that are less expensive. Ula Henriksen has a PHA face mask, which we actually gave to our beautiful butterfly, Rhea, in India. Yes, I shipped it all the way to India and it didn't get confiscated by customs. <laughs> If you are looking for something super budget friendly, the Inky List has one of my favorite PHA toners. Now that is a PHA toner, not a moisturizer, but Glow Recipe has their avocado retinol sleeping cream type moisturizer type thing. That actually has PHAs in it too. And I love that combination of PHAs and retinol, especially because they don't like contradict or compete with each other. And um, because the PHAs are so gentle, they shouldn't cause irritation the way using something like an acid and a retinoid would. Love that she's using this. Just know that there are less expensive options available. And fun fact, I've listed all of down below as well as which skin type they're best for because if you're like me and oily it's not going to make sense to use what she uses but if you're dry and sensitive like her you're not going to want to use what i put on my face so all of those are there for you absolutely no obligation just know that if you do choose to use them they actually help support this channel as well as our wonderful talented editors and their furry friends which are the real ones who help to edit these videos and that is not animal cruelty that is animal creativity thank you i'll go and use some eye masks she was gonna say eye cream and I got scared. Eye masks, I actually live for. Eye masks are really great because they're kind of like push-up bras for your under eye areas. I know that I have glitter on right now. This is not skincare. I was actually kind of worried putting these on because they're kind of like stickers. And I'm like, am I gonna rip the under eye skin as I take these off? Which is why I didn't put them right up against my eyes. I kind of put them down here, like below my tear trough. I was like, these are going on my cheeks. It's not right up in there. But eye masks, when they are actual proper eye masks and not cosmetic enhancements, absolutely wonderful. They are basically like little push-up bras for your under eyes because they hold everything in. They can help push lymphatic fluid out. And then if they have ingredients like vitamin C, it can help with darkness or pigment. If they have something like caffeine, it can help with that puffiness. And if they have something like a retinoid, it can actually help with fine lines and wrinkles. This one seems to be a hydrating eye mask, which sounds like it's what she likes to use or what she needs. It's from Jillian Dempsey. I actually don't know if this is a cruelty-free brand or who this is. I believe she's like some celebrity again. When it 
comes to the ingredients though, let's take a look. We do have, oh wow, we have a lot of coconut in here. We have some sweet almond oil, some fragrance. I actually would not recommend this for the eyes, especially for $75. Fragrance isn't always terrible near the eyes, but I don't love it. Coco Caprolate, great. Polyglycerol 10, great. But there's nothing in here that's amazing. The best ingredient is probably the alpha glucan oligosaccharide because it can be hydrating. But coconut oil, glycerin, fragrance, that is some cheap shit that you are putting on your eyes for expensive amounts of monies. Abort Mission, no. I would recommend the Wander Beauty eye masks. Pacifica also has some really good eye masks that are like $5. I like the Wander Beauty ones better personally. And then if you really want to spend money on an eye mask, one that's actually ophthalmologist, aka eye doctor tested, and dermatologist, aka skin doctor tested, is the one from Color Science. Theirs are expensive, but theirs are really, really freaking good. So if you want to spend $75 on an eye mask, go for Color Science, not for this. But I'm glad it works for her. I'll use this Shantikai face roller and I love this one, it's amazing. That right there looks like an insect. I'm so sorry, what is that? Like that is something that I expect to fly around my pool when I'm chilling with my friends at a hotel in the summer, as opposed to something to put on your face. And then she said Chantecaille, is that how you pronounce this brand? I know it's like a very luxury brand. I thought it was like a fancy selling of Chantella. And again, as somebody who reads constantly, but never had like human, human interaction as a child, I don't say words right a lot of times, okay? <laughs> oh my God, this is sold out too. Who is buying this? I guess for a hundred and fifty dollars if it actually works to buy a lift and massage it's actually not bad like that's what the nurse jamie one costs but it's part of the bio lift complexion oh it's a contour hugging face massager i could see that oh it has four cooling 360 degree rotating tubes to gently stimulate and massage skin promoting a more lifted radiant appearance a solar panel absorbs and converts available light into a low level microcurrent wait a minute are you telling me this is a solar powered microcurrent dragonfly is that what this is? You guys, I might actually have to get my hands on this. This looks like Nurse Jamie's, you know, purple roller meets like the new face microcurrent meets like Elon Musk's solar panels. I am so confused about what's going on. The lady on the website who's using it seems to really be enjoying it. I like that they're actually saying, don't go over the eyelid, like watch out if you have allergies. I actually like that they have medical disclaimers, like don't use over open wounds for people who have allergies to metals or for pregnant peoples. That's actually really nice. And the question is, is it lifting or is it like a fancy jade roller gua sha. You guys, do I have to buy this? Shanta K, Chantel, Chanelele, really good makeup. They have one of my, oh my God, let me show you. Let me show you. I have to show you this. Okay, you guys, I got these as a gift for my birthday ages ago, and I haven't even been able to fully use them because they are so pretty. Look, one of them is a little turtle and it saves the oceans. And one of them is a little butterfly, a little monarch. And like the proceeds were donated to go to conservation. And then on top of that, these are fragrance free. And it sounds dumb. Like why would makeup have fragrance in it? But a lot of times, it does and it can irritate skin. So these, I think they're supposed to be like 75 bucks each. Someone spent like a hundred bucks on me. Thank you, holy crap. And then my dumb ass who doesn't wear makeup all the time thought that they were so pretty that I didn't want to use them. Shanta Kai, Shanta Tell, Shanta Call Me On My Shell Phone has some beautiful, oh no, I touched it. Oh, but at least we get to swatch the pigment now. They have some beautiful, beautiful makeup. Look at that little turtle. And I'm so afraid to use them. Look at how pretty these are though. Are those not the most gorgeous things like you've ever seen? And I don't want to ruin them, so like I haven't used them, but their makeup is bomb diggity, right? We're gonna do a little swatch. Oh man, that pigment is gorgeous too. It's really soft. I should probably use these. Wow, look at that pigment though. Look at that pigment. Well, the makeup absolutely gets my seal of approval. There is like one face cream that I used that was ridiculously expensive. It was like a hundred something dollars and it was really, really good. Their face massager, I don't know. Are Euphoria and their actresses making me spend money? Oh, or should I just save my money for more boba? That's like a good chunk of my entire skincare budget for the month on one solar powered bio lifting tool. How is it solar powered? I'm gonna YouTube search this. I'm so, so curious. Definitely when I'm working, my skin gets a lot worse. And it's taken me a long time to figure out products that don't make me break out. And even still, like I think it's just wearing so much makeup for 
so many hours and reapplying it and reapplying it, it just gets like, it's so hard not to break out. The one big thing I learned though is making sure all of your makeup's off at the end of the day. Yes, and I actually wonder if her breakouts have anything to do with that. I don't know what cleanser she's using. I thought it was Obagi, but if she's only using one cleanse, you know, if you wear thick, heavy makeup, a double cleanse is gonna be the way to go. I, yeah, yeah, it can be rough. Especially when I was modeling and they were putting makeup on me, they would literally have like a powder on a brush and they would have girls lined up in our chairs and they would literally just like pat each forehead and go from girl to girl to girl. And it was so bad and it's like, no wonder my skin was freaking out. Skin hygiene is essential. Makeup does not cause acne, but it can contribute to acne if you don't get it out of your pores and make sure that you're rinsing it all off at night. Sad life. These have never broken me out because I've never put them on my face. <laughs> I hope they wouldn't because it says no animal testing and fragrance free, but who knows? Cornstarch, <gasps> it's corn! A big lump with knobs. It has the juice and the animal donations. Can I imagine a more beautiful thing? It's a corn. Because I'm gonna do a red lip, I'll do a lip scrub. Here's the Charlotte Tilbury lip scrub. My mom is super into skincare. She's always had like a million products and she's always trying different things. Whereas I like have a few products and I just stick with the same. Couple. But my sister is like really good at makeup and skincare and really into that. She's like amazing at it. And I think my mom and I learn most of the makeup tricks and skincare tricks from my, my younger sister. I want to meet Maude's younger sister and her mom. They sound wonderful. And when I do look at her routine, I know she's going to put on a few more things, but I feel like there are some things I would change here. We're going to talk about that in a few more minutes, but there are some things that I would definitely switch. And when it comes to this lip scrub, I don't know if this is any good or not. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury has one of my favorite lip oils and they actually have that stupid magic face cream that's actually pretty freaking good. Their makeup is bomb diggity, but like their skincare, it's hit and miss. Their their eye cream is an absolute no. Their new toner is not bad, although it is heavily fragranced, but their magic cream, it's not magic, it's science, but it does actually work. And then their lip products, some of them are really good. And when it comes to this one, they say that it's a lip exfoliator or like a lip scrub. My favorite one used to be from Bite Beauty, but unfortunately Bite Beauty shut their doors, so they're discontinued. This is, oh, it's limited edition for $28. That actually doesn't look half bad, but let's see what's in it. No! <gasps> Oh my God. Oh, I'm actually really excited about this. <gasps> has jojoba seed oil. You know that my face and my lips love jojoba. This has sucrose, so the sugar is what's doing the exfoliating. Sugar is nice, because even though it does have a crystalline structure, it doesn't tear at the skin the way that something like a walnut shell would. Um, this has hydrogenated polyisobutane. It has shea butter, nice and, oh man, beeswax. I was going to buy this, but it's got beeswax in it. Darn it, me being a vegan, I could buy it if I want to, but I choose not to. This actually looks like a really good lip scrub though. It has silica and squalene. We love squalene. And that's the thing is that remember, remember that even though the lips are different than the rest of your face, your lips have a stratum corneum, just the way your skin does. It's that outer layer of skin. Your lips are a type of skin. They're like a oh, mucous membrane, but you know what I'm saying? And if you find things that work for the face, you don't want to necessarily put them on the lips. That's not what I'm saying. But when you find ingredients like jojoba or ceramides or squalene, hyaluronic acid, your lips love it. And so looking for some of those things that you recognize in skincare in your lip products is a great idea. I'm so sad this isn't vegan. Oh, I would have bought the out of this. This looks like a really good product. Oh well, I'm glad it works for her. I'll put the Charlotte Tilbury Magic lip oil. This stuff's so good. D D wait, this is literally what I was, hold, please hold. I was literally just talking about this. Is it expensive? Yes, but is it good? Yeah. And it's one of the lip products that actually has a ball on it. It's like a roller instead of just like one of those squeezy tubes. There are lip products like from Biosance that I like more, but when it comes to the hit and miss of Charlotte Tilbury, this one is a hit, I will say. I feel like she and I are having a skincare sleepover. We're sisters just applying our lip products together. Fun fact, this also has potato pulp extract. And if you are a potato wife, you know what's up. And if you're not a potato wife, then I'm so sorry that you are not married to me. Potato wives forever. <sighs> Next, I'll use some sunblock. I love seeing a celebrity who is skin smart. You have no idea how 
fucking refreshing it is. This is the VI Derm SPF 50 fluid. I feel like the VI Derm, I saw that in somebody else's routine too. Fun fact, I actually met VI Derm, the team and the daughter who now runs the company. They're like a really good brand. And again, I haven't tried this specific product on Amazon. It says that it's $45. It's an SPF 50 plus sunscreen UV defense broad spectrum. Let's look at them ingredients. We have water, coconut alkalines, which are fine, especially for acne prone skin. It's not the same as coconut oil or something like that. Oh, we do have lemon in here. That kind of concerns me for her. Camilla sinensis leaf extract is good. You know, for her, I may recommend a sunscreen, you know, like a mineral one like this, the centella one, because that wouldn't, you know, be as breakout prone for her. There are a few other K-beauty ones that are inexpensive, but effective. Some of the best for acne prone skin, we've actually already done a video on. I love the Zit Sticker if you want like a dewy glow. Mega Shade is great for oily skin if you want a dewy glow or dry skin. Uh, it probably shows up a little bit more matte on dry skin or a little bit more velvety. And then there's the Elta MD Clear. That one has niacinamide in it and some B vitamins. Really, really good for the skin. And again, made by doctors and derms. And if she likes Obaji, she's probably going to like Elta MD. I would just want to make sure she's using like a thick moisturizer on underneath for her dry skin. I sometimes get ahead of myself and run myself into the ground. And so I feel like my best self care is just like laying down with my cats, watching TV, just totally trying to, trying to relax. I have four cats. My parents have two cats and I have two cats, but my landlord doesn't allow cats in my apartment building. So now my parents have four cats and <laughs> take care of all of them. Oh my God, she and I are sisters and we have the exact same cat situation. Again, at most we had six, but I had two cats, Halo and Mitu. And then the parental units and everybody else had cats. And then because of living reasons and pet regulations and things like that, I could not bring the cats. So my parents now have four cats and I cuddle them all the time when I get to visit. Oh my God, we are sisters. I need her cosmetic purse. I need to redo her skincare routine because she does need some help. I feel like she's using some really good things, but just because they're good, it doesn't mean they're good for her skin type. I feel like she would benefit from the dry skin and acne video that we did. And then she is using like some luxury brands that if she really likes, then fine. I might have to get this solar powered Wingardia Leviosa wand for my forehead, this dragonfly looking machine. But um, a lot of them, it's like, are you just paying money for overpriced things? Cause I bet you I could find something a little bit better for her. If anybody wants us to recreate her routine for acne prone skin on a budget, and if anybody knows more details about her specific skin type, if she has any allergies, please let me know as I would love to do that. But for now, I would also love to finish my boba. My boba, which is actually just boba juice because I didn't actually get any boba in it this time and not spill it all over the desk and the floor as I've already done twice so far today. <laughs> There's another euphoria reaction right here. Do remember to stay hydrated both orally and topically. Reapply that SPF, even if it does have lemon in it. And always be beautiful both inside and out. I love you and me and my glittery ass forehead. Cannot wait to see you in this other glittery ass forehead euphoria reaction video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.